Yesterday, Christmas Day, I had dinner with some friends of mine. Stella was there with me and some friends came in from the States. And we, after dinner, we were, somehow, we got into uh, the discussion about cultural norms and things that you can say and don't want to say uh, in, in Ecuador. And this word came up, okay? I made it very clear to my friends that Mama Stella does not like that word, does not accept that word, does not allow that word. You say that word to her, around her, behind her, anywhere within a square mile radius of her, no, 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 no. You will get the wrath of Mama Stella. So, as soon as I come back, I'm going to explain the whole meaning of this video. Okay? It has to do with this word, fuck. Hey! Oh, rock a cheek. Hello there. Okay, so for those of you, that's, you know, I guess I should have said this at the beginning. If you're offended by the word fuck, take off. Go listen to somebody else's video. Go watch uh, our favorite duel. You know, I don't know where they are right now. But anyway, I thought this was worthy of talking about. Guys and girls, mostly you guys, if you come to Ecuador, leave the word fuck out of your vocabulary. Don't say it here, okay? As you know, most of you that know me and live here and know me know that I, I'm a big fan of ChatGPT and I like doing research and I went on the search for the origins of the word fuck and so forth and I'm going to read to you what I got from it. I'm not going to read the whole page, it's a lot there. It's actually about two and a half pages, but just the highlights, okay? Uh, and you'll see why here in just a minute, okay? So here's what ChatGPT said. I went online, logged in and said, what is the deal about the word fuck? Where is it from? What's wrong with it? And so forth. And here's what I got. The word fuck, in quotes, undoubtedly one of the most versatile, controversial, and widely used words in the English language. <laughs> really? So its origins can be traced back to the early 16th century in Europe believed to have derived from Germanic or Scandinavian roots. However, its exact entomology remains debated among linguists due to the lack of concrete historical documentation. Okay? Throughout history, fuck has had various meanings and uses. Initially, it was a rather innocent term referring to the act of sexual intercourse. Over time, its connotations evolved and it transformed into a versatile term capable of expressing a wide range of emotions from anger and frustration to surprise and even emphasis. In American culture, the word prevalence can be attributed to several factors. One key influence might be its taboo nature. The societal taboo associated with fuck gives it a rebellious, edgy quality appealing to countercultural movements and various forms of artistic expression, particularly in music, literature, and film. Its ability to shock or provoke also contributes to its popularity, especially in context where breaking societal norms is a form of self-expression or rebellion. Well, fuck. Fuck it. Fuck you. Fuck this. Fuck that. Fuck them. You know, I am the worst at using that word. I try to contain it as much as I can. The only time that I really comes out is if I'm angry. I'll just be right up front and tell you if I'm angry, you might hear the fuck word, okay? I guess from now on I'll use the F word, okay? Just to take it easy on you. But here in Ecuador, it's a little bit of a different story, okay? Let me explain. Right after I moved in here, I was sound asleep one night, midnight. 
A mariachi band was singing and playing music at full volume on the steps of the building that I live in. At midnight, they were serenading a young girl here, an 18-year-old girl, and boy was I pissed. They quit. I went back to sleep. I got up the next morning and I marched downstairs to the office to give them every what for. I launched into the guards. The administrator heard me talking and heard knew that something wasn't good. Came outside and basically they kind of told me tough shit. That's it's the way it is. It was approved. It's a tradition. It happened. It's going to happen again. And there ain't nothing you can do about it. My response was, well, fuck it. Fuck it and fuck you and fuck you to the administrator. And I was saying it even as I was going up the elevator. I was saying, fuck everything. So a couple hours later, I got a call from Stella. Stella, the rental agent that rented me this apartment and said that the administrator sent her a video, a surveillance video in the lobby of my little tirade. And she, Stella <laughs> continued to educate me on the fact that when you say that word here in Ecuador, especially to a woman, and especially in that context, you're basically saying that you're going to sexually assault her. You're going to rape her. You're going to do every bad thing you can think of sexually. And that's what it means when you say fuck you to an Ecuadorian person. Man or woman. No, 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 folks. Not good. Can't do that. Okay? Of course, I've, you know, immediately felt like, what the hell did I just do? And I, I wrote a formal apology letter all in Spanish and I delivered it to the administrator and to the guards and I profoundly apologized and promised that it would n never happen again. This is before they really knew what a wonderful person I was. And now they know, as most people do, you know. But I am the type of person that when I get a little excited, uh, maybe a little angry, uh, the F word just comes flying out of nowhere. And I know that's a fault of mine and that's something that I have to work on. But anyway, that's not the purpose of this video. It goes on to say, however, while fuck is relatively common in American culture, its acceptability and impact varies significantly across different cultures. In some cultures, particularly those with conservative or strict linguistic norms, uttering this word can be deeply offensive and disrespectful. Don't forget that disrespectful word, okay? In countries like Ecuador or other Latin American nations, using such explicit language, especially in formal or traditional settings, might be considered highly inappropriate and offensive. So... There's a lot more. It, here it said, in summary, the word fuck has a complex history and diverse cultural implications. Its prevalence in American culture is tied to its taboo nature, shock value, and versatility in expression. However, its acceptability and impact vary significantly across different cultures, with some societies considering it deeply offensive. Understanding cultural sensitivities is crucial in navigating the use of of such language in diverse cultural contexts. So I went on to ask, as you know, you can have a conversation with chat GPT. So I went on to ask a follow-up question. I said, is it true that its meaning in Ecuador can mean that you intend to or want to rape the person you are addressing? So here's the answer. In Ecuadorian culture, in many Latin American countries, the word fuck or its equivalent in Spanish, oder, J-O-D-E-R, like you see right here, doesn't typically carry the same meaning or connotation as intending or wanting to rape someone. However, cultural interpretations and the severity 
of profanity can vary significantly from one reason to another. While the word may still be considered highly offensive or vulgar, in Ecuador it might evoke strong reactions, yeah, like maybe getting your ass kicked. Due to its explicit nature, it doesn't inherently imply a desire to commit sexual assault. Instead, its usage might be, might be seen as disrespectful, impolite, or crude in certain contexts or among more conservative circles. However, it's crucial to note that language and its interpretations are highly nuanced and can be influenced by regional, social, and generational factors. Context, tone, and intent behind the use of such strong language play pivotal roles in how it's perceived by individuals within a particular cultural setting. Last paragraph. In any cross-cultural interaction, especially when dealing with sensitive language, it's essential to be mindful of local customs and sensitivities to avoid unintentionally causing offense or discomfort. So, guys, when you come here, don't use that word, okay? Whether it means your intent to commit sexual assault or not, using it under any context is not acceptable here, and it makes the whole expat community look bad. So, for those of you that are offended by me saying the word throughout this video, I apologize, but I'm just giving the facts here, okay? And that's really about all I have to say about it. So if you like this channel, please subscribe. If you like this video, smash that thumbs up button. If you didn't like this video, fuck, I mean, bite me, okay? And I mean that with peace and love, okay? Ciao, ciao. See you in the next one. <laughs> There's my little love muffin. Don't say that anymore. <laughs> Here's my dainty little flower. <laughs> Okay, turn it over. Let me turn, turn it over. Okay, go ahead. It's, it's off. Okay. I'm getting <laughs> Listen, honey, when I come home from work, I expect there to be food on that stove cooking. I expect this kitchen to be clean, these floors to be polished, my bed made, and everything ready to go, and a hug and a kiss. That's the way it's got to be. Taxi. Taxi.